Here's how I can insert symbols like X's and check marks into custom number formats in Excel. Here I've got a list of scores and I'm going to create an if function to say if a value is greater than 50, then return a value of 1, otherwise negative 1. And the point of this is I want different formatting depending on if a value is positive versus negative. I'm going to insert the symbols that I want to use by going to the insert tab, clicking on symbols, and I'm going to double click on the check mark and the X. And then I'm going to close this out. And so those are the two symbols I'm going to use. A check mark if it's positive and next if it's negative. I'm going to select the check mark, hit control C to copy it. And then I'm going to select my cells here and press control one to go into the format cells option. I'm going to go into custom and I'm just going to delete this where it says general and just hit control V to paste that check mark. I'm going to hit OK. And now you'll notice all the values are replaced with check marks. I still have that dash for the negative, but I'm going to fix that in a second. So I'm going to copy this X now, control C and go back in to select these cells, go back into the format cells. And now I'm going to hit the semicolon button and then paste the X. So how the number formats work in Excel is the first first string that you enter, that's going to be how it's treated if it's a positive. And then the semicolon separates it to say, okay, this is if it's negative. And then lastly will be the condition if it's zero. So a check mark if it's positive and X if it's negative. If I hit okay, now you'll see all those negative values that were below 50 now have an X and the ones that were above 50 have a check mark. And you can do this for other symbols as well in Excel. All you have to remember to do is copy them into your spreadsheet and then copy them into the actual formatting. The first condition is going to be the positive one, then a semicolon, and then the negative condition. For more tips like this, check out howtoexcel.net and my YouTube channel, at H2E.